Not many people know about it, but many of the Amazon FBA refunds that you have, you see on your account deducted from your uh, payments, from your transactions, are due to Amazon fault. Reasons like delivered late by the carrier, uh, lost in transit. If you watch the entire video, I'll share with you all the reasons that are eligible for you to check if Amazon gave you your money back or not. And even the professional tools that are out there that are supposed to help you with reimbursement and automate the process are not really checking it because it requires a deeper level of uh, digging into the reports and checking things that uh, for them it doesn't make sense or I don't know what the reasons are, but I used a couple of tools that help you with reimbursements that don't really check it. In this video, and make sure that you watch it until the end because I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Four easy steps to check first how uh, you check whether the order returned back to stock and if it wasn't returned back to stock to check if you got reimbursed, more, reimbursed for that order and if not how to open the ticket what to tell Amazon. Let's start. What's up guys this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com and before we're getting into the video I have two important things to share with you. One is make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below I subscribe and I will personally reply to your comment with any questions that you have. Second thing, go to sourcingmonster.com and make sure that you subscribe to the newsletter because I do share their tips with my subscribers through email that I'm not sharing here. So if you want to get the latest updates, tricks or hacks, make sure that you subscribe there and you know add yourself to the newsletter and let's start with the video okay step number one would need to be getting the list of all orders that were you know amazon uh refunded from your account deducted from your account now make sure that you do it for orders that are older than 45 days because for example you have a reason that uh, you got you know a order deducted as a refund from your account uh, for the reason order not received so the customer didn't get the order obviously it's not your fault Amazon is the carrier Amazon is supposed to be responsible for that and if they lost it it's their fault it's not your fault but they uh, allowing themselves 45 days before they uh, open the, before they allow you to ask for reimbursement or investigation so you make sure that you do it for orders that are 45 uh, days ago. So for example, if today uh, it's December 27th, 2020, I would go and do uh, the orders that are for the entire October. And then, you know, next month in a month, I will do it for November and then December. Uh, for, so now I will show you how to download all these orders, where to find them. And then we'll jump to step number two. The first num step number one is to go to uh, reports and then payments. Okay. Uh, under payments, you want to go to transaction view. And in transaction view, you want to go here and click on custom date range. And then let's do October. Okay. So I'm going to change it to October 1st. And I will copy the entire thing, paste it here. And uh, let's do October 31st if it's. Uh, yeah, October, we had 31 days. And then I'm going to click update. Actually, before I click update, I need to change here the transaction types to refund. I'm going to click on update. And then I'm going to click download. So uh, the entire, like, I will get an Excel uh, sheet with all the orders that were refunded uh, for my account. Okay. I'm going to uh, open with Excel. And then it's coming in weird uh formatting so what i will do here i will delete everything and then i will go here no it's this one yeah it's this one hmm. Hmm. okay i will click on the first column actually column b and then i will go to data and text to sorry, text to columns and then we'll choose this option next next finish okay and then i will choose this tab text to columns next next finish okay so now the formatting is a little better uh so here we have uh the order numbers 
and that's what we actually need like all these order numbers copy them and I'm gonna go to this Excel sheet that I created and you know what let's duplicate and make a new one Gonna delete everything. Okay, delete. Okay. Now I'm gonna paste all the orders here, right? Okay. Now you will see that for every order you could have like four lines. And why is that? Because for every transaction, for some reason, they also share with you like the breakdown. Okay, they refund this and then the rebates and then that. We don't really care about this. We want to have a unique list of uh, items here of orders and then check one by one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the entire column and then go, go to data remove duplicates and then remove duplicates and then we have a clean list of orders okay then after we do it actually let's change it here we want to paste the the, the data as well I'm gonna choose the date like that. I'm gonna paste it here. And now I'm going to remove duplicate from here. Data, remove duplicates, remove duplicates, okay? Now I have the clean list of orders that I need to work on. Now, if you want this uh, file, this template, let me know down below in the comments. I will share with you the link, okay? Um, so you can have it as well like with all the reasons here now we want to figure out step two: check why it was returned valid reasons to proceed so uh, in my file you have all these reasons that are not really your fault reason not customer return it's not um, something that the customer decided to return it's not your fault it's not fulfilled by you so all these reasons order not received shipping address undeliverable Miss, missed fulfillment promise, general adjustment, delivered late by the carrier, damage during transit. All these reasons are things that are not under your responsibility. And if someone screwed up, it's not your fault. You should get your money back. So make sure that you uh, check first whether this return is within uh, these reasons or not. So how to check it. So if you don't have it set up for every uh, reimbursement or refund that Amazon deduct from your account um, they uh, sent you an email okay so what I like to do is put the order number in my uh, Gmail or any other email client that you use search and search for the order number and then check the refund reason because this one it's customer return I'm not gonna touch it right so let's go back here and I'm going to delete it now it's not that I'm not going to touch it. For all customers' returns, uh, you have, I have another video on how to get reimbursement for damaged or missing parts units, and I get there a lot of money as well. Make sure that you watch this video because it's very helpful as well, and you can get a lot of lost money that you didn't really know or knew that you could get back from Amazon for uh, missing or damaged units by Amazon by the customers after they returned it okay let's check this order this is also customer return customer return so I'm going to delete these two as well let's try to find another one customer return Okay, different item. Um, this is also kind of customer return. I'm not going to go and check all orders here, but you will see orders that are order not received.
Okay, so let's go to an order, not receive order. I'm gonna do it like that. Order not receive. Okay, and if you can see, this is a valid reason, okay? So let's pretend, let's uh, pretend that this is an order that, um, you know what, I'll make it easier for you. I'll go to an order or report that I already uh, checked, okay? So this is an order, okay? The reason is missed fulfillment promise. We got reimbursement, so let's go and check the step number three. You have to check if you got reimbursement already because most of the times like 90 percent of the orders amazon automatically if it's those reasons they will uh they catch it and give you reimbursement so how do you check it you go to reports fulfillments payments reimbursement so let's go here reports fulfillment payments and then reimbursements when you get to this page You're going to put the order, the Amazon order number here. And then for the event date, I like to do last 180 days. I'm going to generate a report. And here we didn't get any reimbursements, right? As you can see, we didn't get. So what I like to do, I, in my case, I'm not really doing it. It's my VA that is working on it. But if you don't have uh, a team, you de definitely do it yourself. Uh, or find the tool that is doing it. I didn't find a tool. Many tools claim that they are doing it, but uh, I didn't see anyone that are doing it. And then I choose no because we didn't get reimbursement, right? So then I have to check step number four. If we didn't get reimbursement, then we have to check if the unit has been returned back to stock. We have to go to reports, fulfillment, customer concessions, FBA customer return. So it's reports, fulfillment, uh, customer concessions, FBA customer returns. And then the same thing, I'm going to put the order number in last 180 days, generate report. And no, we didn't get a, uh, we, we, the unit wasn't returned back to stock. And I'll show you just a like different scenario on how it works with an order that was returned back to uh, stock. Let's take this order, okay? Mm. Okay, as you can see, status unit return to inventory. Now, uh, you have some items or like orders that you will see that the disposition is like it's damaged and at the same time you see the status unit returned back to stock to inventory now this is obviously wrong because customers will get an order that is used or damaged and then you will get like very bad uh, negative reviews so this is another way for you also to then open a ticket with amazon and explain them look these this these returns these orders are disposition as customer damaged or missing parts why are you returning them back to inventory customers will get those orders and will leave me bad negative reviews uh, and then you know just talk with them about it uh, that's something that i plan to do really like in the near future uh, but for now that's not the purpose of this video um, step number four we checked we didn't get reimbursement and in that case then we have to open a case and here is the template and again with this one if you want the template just let me know down below in the comments i'll share with, with you no problem now uh hello amazon seller support team i'm checking why i didn't get reimbursements and then in parentheses 45 days passed and you didn't return the unit back to stock or reimbursed us i have all these order numbers thank you that's it now 99 percent of the cases and i opened several cases uh all of them they reply the same Hello for Amazon selling partner support. Based on your message, it looks like you requested the reimbursement status of the following. And then it looks like it's an automated process. So I just reply, I don't want the status. I'm checking why I didn't get reimbursements. 45 days passed and you didn't return the unit to stock or reimburse us. So either send us these returns or return it back to stock or reimburse, please. Thank you. So uh, that's basically 
what you should reply and they will give you your money back um, so this is a lost money that you know you could recover easily it's not really easy because it takes time uh, but if you have a team definitely give it to your team on your you know when they don't really have a lot to do or complete they can work on it and you know you can recover hundreds of th or thousands of dollars depends really on the size of your account now uh, that's really the end of the video I hope let me know actually down below in the comments after you used it if you got reimbursed and by how much I hope you got value from this video and that you enjoy and if you want to uh, watch and get more videos like that make sure to subscribe to the channel smash the like button it will help me grow the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching